So one of our secret weapons when we were running Sadara Skincare was our influencer marketing program. Now we've had days when an influencer will post about our product and literally generate anywhere between thirty to sixty thousand dollars in sales in one day with just one post. Sometimes they sell anywhere between 2,000 to 3,000 units in less than 24 hours with one post. So in this video, I want to break down the exact strategies that we used when we were running Sadara Skincare so that hopefully you can have the same type of effects for your business. I trust that life will take me to a better place based on the action I've taken today. Trust hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video of mine. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Tom. I'm documenting my Amazon journey and e-commerce journey for the past three years. So if you're interested in this type of content, click on the subscribe button. And for those that are returning, thanks for watching another video. And don't forget to smash the thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video up to 200 likes. So what are we going to be discussing in this video? We're going to be discussing six different things. Number one is what are influencers? Number two is how much does it cost to do a proper campaign with them? Number three, how to find and vet the right influencers for your brand. Number four is how to strike a deal with them. Number five, how to track the performance of that campaign. And last but not least, which is the most important part, is how do you create a long-term strategy for your brand with the right influencers? So let's dive into the first one, which is what are influencers? Influencers are essentially people that are on social media platforms with a following. That could be on YouTube, that could be on Instagram, that could be on TikTok, that could be even bloggers. All these folks are what I consider influencers. Now, in my opinion, there are four different types of influencers. Number one is somewhere between zero to 10,000 followers. They're what I called nano influencers. And then we have somewhere between 10,000 to 100,000 followers. These are what I called micro influencers. We have then 100,000 to a million followers. These are just influencers. And last but not least, anywhere between a million and above. These are what I called maybe major influencers or celebrity influencers. Now, mind you, just because someone has a lot of following, it does not mean that person can convert well for your brand. In fact, you could be paying $250,000 for one post for a celebrity. That doesn't necessarily mean you are gonna get the right ROI return on investment. You could be giving someone with maybe 5,000 followers a free product in exchange for a free post, and that person might even outperform the person that you paid $250,000. Now, how much does everything cost here? Well, it really depends on the influencers, but if you stay to the very end, I'm gonna show you a strategy where you can be giving your product out for free to test them out first, before you even pay them a dime. So the answer to this question, it really varies. Some influencers, especially with the nano and the micro, they are okay with just free products in exchange for a few posts. And other influencers, maybe with 500,000 or a million followers, they want you to actually pay their money before they post anything about your brand. Now, in terms of the cost, it really varies with regards to the actual influencers. I've seen some influencers literally charge $250,000 per post, but that's like the Kim Kardashians of the world. Whereas other influencers that we worked with, we paid up to $10,000 per post. Now you might be like, I don't have that much capital to start. That's way too much, but just wait. I'm gonna teach you some strategies where maybe you don't have to pay $10,000 and you can pay a lot less for a post. Number three is how to find them and how to vet them. Now, this is the part where I want you to pay most attention to. Finding influencers are easy, but vetting them takes a little bit more time. So for Sadara Skincare, what, how we found influencers is very, very easy. For example, if you wanted to find influencers on Instagram, you just gotta type in some hashtags, maybe beauty, maybe skincare routines, and see who has a following on their page that posts a lot about skincare. On YouTube, you could be typing the actual product. So one of our products was vitamin C serum. So you could be typing in vitamin C serum reviews and see who's actually uh, leaving a review on other brands of vitamin C serums. So finding the influencers are actually what I don't think is the hard part. Now, vetting them, 
is the hard part. And this is the part that I want you to pay most amount of attention to. So there's a few different criteria that I've gathered over the past few years of running Sudara that I think will help to eliminate your chances of getting you know, screwed by an influencer. Because the last thing you wanna do is pay them money and for them to post and then not like no sales come in. Key criteria number one is do they show their face in their post as well as in their stories on Instagram? Now, I see a lot of accounts, whether it's makeup, whether it's skincare routine, where they don't show their actual face. You don't know who's actually behind the brand. All they do is they take a photo on a nice flat lay um, and they have the products and they take a photo and put some flowers beside it. It looks all nice and then they write their review on it, but you don't know who's actually behind the camera. If you don't know who's behind the camera, it's really hard to be forming a relationship with that person. Number two is do they actually talk? Okay, this sounds really weird, but there are some Instagram accounts where in their stories, they literally don't say anything. They will post about something, maybe a brand, and they will just have bullet points, features and benefits, what they like, what they didn't like about the brand. Again, really hard to build rapport, really hard to build a relationship with an influencer if they're not even speaking. Number three, and this is a huge one, and this is the one that is super counterintuitive, is that do they sell products to their people already. If you follow them before you, you know, engage with them, just follow them on Instagram and you look at their stories, what are they doing in their stories? Are they just documenting their day? Are they posting about different products? Are they selling different products? And what I found is that if you team up with the influencers who are constantly selling products, those are actually the influencers that might convert the best for you, which is counterintuitive because for me, I'm like, wait a second, if this person keeps on selling their product, maybe, maybe their audience is like, you know what, I'm gonna follow this person. Or you know what, I'm, I don't wanna keep buying all this stuff from this person, right? That's what I thought. But the reality is that the audience have been trained. The audience follow that person because people love to shop, right? Especially for Sadara Skincare, which is our women target market, they love online shopping, right? So they love to buy these things on Amazon. Oh, I found this cute skirt for under $10. I found this for under $20. They love that type of stuff. So that's something that's really interesting to me. If you are going to partner up with an influencer, make sure they're actually already selling products to their audience before you give them a free product or before you uh, give them cash for a campaign. So on Instagram, you can see a bunch of posts. What are their engagements like? Do they have no comments? Do they have a lot of comments? What are the comments talking about? And here's the key one. Is the influencer on the Instagram account replying to any of these comments? The best influencers, what I found through experience of running Stara was the best influencers are those ones that are truly engaged with their audience. Take Kim Kardashian, for example. Yes, she's got millions of followers, but is she engaging with her audience? Probably not. If you go through her Facebook comments or Instagram comments, she's not replying to them. But if you find someone who's literally building a relationship with every single one of their audience in the comment section, through um, et cetera, then that person has a higher likelihood to actually convert their audience when they are selling a product. And last but not least, ask for previous campaign stats. A lot of these influencers, this is what they do for a living. They leverage off their audience, they sell stuff to them, they get an affiliate commission, and everything's trackable. So don't be shy to actually approach them and ask them for previous campaign results. I wouldn't be like, hey, send me your um, campaign results. That's very transactional. Same as you know, friends or people, you wanna be building a relationship with all these different influencers. But if they do ask you, hey, pay me 2,000, pay me 5,000, pay me $10,000 a post, then I think at that time, it's a better time to actually ask for previous campaign results. And that way you can gauge whether that influencer uh, could potentially give you a positive ROI or not. All right, let's talk about how to strike a deal with them. Now, my favorite way of doing this is actually not paying per post. And what I mean by that is that when you pay someone in exchange for a post, it's very risky. What if that person, um, their audience doesn't convert? There's a lot of different reasons, right? And if you're trying to do this at scale, if you're trying to pay 10 influencers, 20 influencers, a lot of money can actually go out and you're not getting a lot of money back. So we want to avoid that at all costs. So what do you do instead? Well, what you want to do first is simply give them a free product. 
Just tell them a little bit about your brand story and then ship them a free product. If they're receptive to that and if they used it, then what you can do is follow up a week or two weeks later and ask them how they liked it. If they liked it, at that point, you guys can be talking about some sort of a campaign. If they didn't like it, I really don't recommend for you to force your money onto them because that's not the type of influencer that you want to work with. The best influencers are the ones that are authentic. The best influencers are the ones that are not just doing it for the money because their audience can sniff that out and they're promoting bad products. So make sure that you're the person that you're sending your product to, they're actually liking the product before you're just forcing money down their throat. Now, if they do like it, what you could do is ask them to do a post in exchange for affiliate commission. Affiliate commission is simply, if they sell a unit, you give them 50% of the cut. If they sell a unit, you give them 20% of the cut. This is great because it's truly a win-win situation. If they sell a lot, you give them affiliate commission. If they don't sell a lot, then you don't lose anything. And if they end up selling a lot of units, at that point, you wanna put that person, put a start beside their name and say, hey, this person can convert. Let's do a campaign together. And what I mean by a proper campaign is that a little bit more structure, right? You can maybe hop on a call with, the, with them, teach them how to use the product a little bit better, tell them the features and benefits, maybe tailor the messaging more towards their audience, and also setting up a time to actually do a proper promo than just a random post. Tracking the performance of your campaign is extremely important because at the end of the day, you wanna have a group of influencers that can convert for you, but how do you track conversion? With Amazon, the easiest way to do this is actually by using a Amazon affiliate link. Now, what you need to do is get them to sign up for an Amazon affiliate link. If there are real influencers that push a lot of Amazon products, then they should already have that link. But if they don't, you should definitely get them to sign up for an Amazon affiliate link. Now, Amazon affiliate links are very easy to create and Amazon actually pays them um, out of Amazon's pocket every single sale that they drive for your product. So it's truly win, win, win. And what you could do on top is say, hey, if Amazon's paying you 8% per sale, I can match Amazon so that way they're getting 16% per sale and it's only costing you 8% per sale. So that's a great strategy. Another strategy you can use is using coupon codes to track. I'm not a huge fan of this one. I'm a bigger fan of Amazon affiliate um, link, but you can always use a coupon code as well. And what I find is there's a little bit less of a conversion rate. There's more drop-offs because people have to enter the code and so on and so forth. So that's why I like the Amazon affiliate link a lot better. And that's how you track the performance. And last but not least, what is the grand vision? What is the long-term vision here? The long-term vision is really to have as many influencers to promote your product as possible. With influencers, you can drive sales, you can drive reviews, you can also get user-generated content from them for your marketing materials. So there's really a lot of things that you can do with your influencers. In fact, I'm gonna be dropping a interview where I interviewed Celine, who is one of my friends here in Vancouver. She launched a seven-figure brand in swimwear industry just by using influencers. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and turn on the notification bell to be notified when that interview comes out. But imagine this, next time you launch a product on Amazon, you don't need to be doing any more giveaways. You don't need to be going super heavy on PPC. What if you had 10, 20, 30 influencers that you already vetted that you know can convert and one month before you launch the new product, you can actually contact all of them and you do a explosive launch in the first week and you can actually rank very very high up in the amazon algorithm with influencers because amazon knows that you're sending external traffic do you know that they convert so you're getting full organic sales you're not putting so much money out for the giveaways you're not spending a lot of money on ppc and this is honestly our secret weapon when we were running sadara skincare so guys, I really hope you see value. If you have any questions about influencer marketing, please put them in the comment section. I'm happy to reply to them. If you got value out of this video, all I ask is for a thumbs up. And if you guys have any other questions, drop them below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the very next video.